Okay. So, I did some thought and did some thinking as to what my last video that I'm going to make today is going to be about. And I'm going to do a video on when the fuck it's time to let go in a relationship. Just let the shit go. Not even just in a relationship. More so like if you're talking to somebody, you like somebody. When is time just to let the shit go? Because I feel like a lot of bitches really don't know when to let go. Like, and I think even though I don't fuck with this bitch and I'll chin check her if I ever saw her. I feel like Carrie Hilson said the shit best. Some people can be lied to, cheated on, and beat it on. But bitch, you have got to have a breaking point. And you know, I sit back and I watch some relationships and I just be scared like, bitch, this nigga playing you. You you got this nigga man crush Monday, man crush every day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. This nigga ain't got a picture of you on nothing. I know bitches who fucking with your nigga. I know that you know that they fucking with your nigga. Be just trying to let this shit go. And it's so funny because I was talking to my friend today and I'm like, girl, when is it ever just time to let the nigga go? You know? But she was like, whenever you start feeling like you're thirsty. And one thing, me personally, I don't know about y'all, but I got to think about against being looked at as any kind of thirsty. And it's really been fucking me up recently. I'm not going to call you more than twice. I'm not going to blow up your phone. Because you're not ever going to be like I'm thirsty. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not going to happen. And I know a couple of my followers was telling me like they be calling niggas a lot. And I just feel like that's never going to fucking be me. Like, I'm sorry, I'm fixing my phone. But... Yeah, I just feel like that's never gonna fucking be me. I just, I can't. And I just don't understand, like, if you're calling somebody, they're not picking up the phone. Unless they owe you some money, quit calling them. It's over. Just get a shit up. Like, not even on no, I don't know. I just, I just feel like maybe I'm cut from a different cloth. Like, I was talking to Paris about it. Y'all know Paris. Hi, girl. I was talking to her about it. I'm just like, girl, the shit just like, maybe I would, I, hmm. Maybe if you've been in a relationship for like a couple years, yeah, okay, that's different. But if you've just been talking to somebody, I don't, maybe, I think it's Kay Kim. It ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. Goodbye. I don't need to talk to you. Talk to you about what? The fuck? Bitches be having mustaches right there. That's why I had to check that. I refuse. You know, it'd be okay for me to have a mustache. But you bitches be walking around with that pink lipstick on looking a fucking mess. But that's neither here nor there. I'm just saying, like. I just feel like, I don't know, you bitches are silly, Blow, calling a nigga and, I mean, I ain't gonna say silly, I'm gonna say, unless y'all got that type of relationship, don't call no nigga six times in a row, twelve times in a row, cause I know me personally, if somebody did that shit to me, two times in a row is cute, three times in a row show you crap. Bitch, if you call me four times in a row, your mama better be dead. And that's how the fuck I feel about it. Don't call me fucking four times in a row unless it's a dire emergency or unless you are one of my best friends. And then it's okay because that's what it talks to me. I love you too. But if I'm not answering the phone, I'm not answering the phone. And I'm going to tell you bitch something else. Niggas don't like being reminded of what the fuck they doing wrong. I think that's where a lot of bitches fuck up. Every time y'all talk to these niggas, every time y'all see these niggas, y'all, da 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 you remember you did ra da 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 
So why is you steady reminding this man what the fuck he did wrong? That's why he's not picking up the phone for you. Hello. Niggas want to go with the flow. They don't want to, you know, too much hassle, too much hustle, bustle. You know, they just want chill, cool, calm, re relax. They don't want no bitch who finna be all up down their throat. Y'all don't even go together. Bitch popping off and trying to shh, cut that shit. Cut it out. Because niggas don't want that shit. I'm telling you. I done seen my brother pimp hoes. That ain't how you, that ain't how you get them, bitch. You get them, you sit back in the cut, and you, you take notes. You be quiet as a motherfucker. Be chill as fuck. Mm -hmm. but, but take motherfucking notes. Take motherfucking notes. And that's all I got to say about it. Take notes. That's how you keep a man. And quit letting... This I'm, is this going to be my last thing. When you get in a relationship... I ain't going to say quit putting the shit on social media, but I'm going to say limit the social media. And I say this all the time, but I feel like bitches don't be hearing me. If you put on social media how happy you are, there's going to be a mad bitch sitting in your follower list. Out of those 1,000 followers that you have, there's going to be 50, 40% of the bitches don't even like you. Let, let's call a spade a spade. 40% of the bitches don't like you. They're just following you to keep up with your ass. These bitches are waiting to see you unhappy. They don't like nan happy picture. They don't like no picture of you and your nigga. They're going to follow your nigga though when you post them. But they don't They, not, they don't like no picture of you and your nigga. They don't like no, no selfie, no C-E-L-F-I-E, -E, none of them. The minute you post some shit, can't believe this nigga, woo wop woo wop I bet you that bitch gonna like every last one of them motherfucking pictures. Cause bitches sit in the cut and hate on you. Quit giving these hoes ammunition to fucking hate. And I'm being so serious. And people be misconstruing hate. First of all, make if you're gonna be posting shit with you, do what you wanna do. Make your shit private so you control who see your shit. Because I'm telling you, it'd be, it'd just be so, and I was just telling Hope this, you know, motherfucker. If you really want to fuck with a bitch self-esteem, you know she got a man. Go to the bitch man pictures five weeks ago and comment some shit like, Oh, I'm so happy seeing you again. Da -da 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 -da. I can't wait to see you again. That's going to immediately fuck some shit up. Even if the bitch know your nigga, your nigga's gonna say he don't know because that's the truth. These bitches out here is ruthless. Like, quit letting them control your happiness. Because these bitches just wanna see you fail. I don't give these bitches no opportunity to see me fail. Bitch, I'm, I'm not gonna show you every high, I'm not gonna show you every low. But I probably will show you every high just so that you know how you not fucking with me. And it is what it is. I'm on a whole different level, bitch. And you could never. You could never be this sickening. And that's just how you gotta live your life. Like, I don't know. Maybe y'all gonna hear me, maybe y'all not. I'm just saying. Because I see the shit. And if I see the shit, you see the shit. Don't let these low life sideline ass bitches fuck up y'all relationships. Because that's a lot of the shit I've been seeing. Rule number one to be a sideline bitch. Hey, I'm gonna make that a song. But for real, fuck these bitches. Don't let them take y'all happiness away. Cause the bitches is mad, they broke, and they probably ugly. But let me tell you something about mad, broke, and ugly. That's a dangerous ass combination, bitch. A mad, broke, and ugly bitch would do anything to see another bitch mad. I'm trying to tell you. And I ain't even gonna talk about the mad ass niggas, cause these are niggas out here shooting. That's why I don't go to 18 and up. 18 and up, you don't got no security, you don't got no VIP. The answer is no, Cartier won't be there. Bitch, because there's too many hating ass niggas out here. You come in there with a the chain, bitch, you're not leaving with your life. And that's, it really is it's sad that it's like that, but it is what it is. So I don't know if y'all give a fuck about this video. I needed the third one. Somebody told me to do this one. I, I mean, I hope I dropped some knowledge. If not, man. Keep letting the ugly bitches make you mad. Cause I don't I don't see these ugly hoes. 
If I don't hear these ugly hoes, then I don't, I don't speak to these ugly hoes. And let me say this last thing. The word ugly is relative. No, it's not just talking about somebody for me. And relative means it's relative to the person, just in case some of you all aren't educated. Ugly to me means the way you carry yourself, the way you act, the persona you put out about yourself. It could be the ugliest bitch in the room, but if the bitch act right, show some professionalism, not messy, bitch, we could kick him. But you could be the most gorgeous bitch in the room. But bitch, if you messy, all you do is talk shit, and you a hating asshole, bitch, you're ugly, and we're not going to be friends. So that's what I be meaning when I say I'm not going to be friends with ugly bitches. I know some people were mad about that statement, but it is what the fuck it is. I don't know. Just like and subscribe. Maybe I'll like my other videos better, but I had to put this one on her. Okay, bye.